the capital city of Central India and city of Lakes Bhopal witnessed the first national conference on lesser known species of Madhya Pradesh. Topic was first of its kind to be organized in India. The main purpose of this conference was to highlight the conservation efforts and management challenges of lesser known faunal diversity. Lesser known as in the species with low distribution or declining numbers, less researched or endangered as per IUCN. We are mostly data deficient in those species, not even baseline in the majority of them. In nature, every species has their role to play in the ecosystem. The impact of declining numbers cannot be figured out without proper study or research. Madhya Pradesh harbors more than 45 species of mammalian fauna, which is about 10% of Indian wild mammals. It broadly lies in the Deccan Plateau, the largest biogeographic zone of India. Madhya Pradesh is the second largest state in India, with an area of 3,8245 square kilometers, covering almost 9.38% of geographical area of the country, of which 25.13% is forested. It has the largest forest cover among all the Indian states. The conference was inaugurated by Mr. Jain Consortia, IAS ACS Forest as the chief guest along with Mr. Jasbir Singh Chauhan, IFS PCCF and Chief Wildlife Warden MP as guest of honor, Mr. Asim Srivastav, IFS PCCF MP and Dr. Atul Srivastav. IFS, PCCF and Member Secretary, MP State Biodiversity Board as special guests. और ये जो एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण एक वर्कशॉप है उसमें आप पार्टिसिपेट कर रहे हैं निश्चित ही बहुत ही एक महत्वपूर्ण विषय है जिसमें लेसर नॉन स्पीसीज हैं उसके ऊपर हम लोग चर्चाएं करेंगे और इनका महत्व क्या है उसके ऊपर चर्चाएं होगी इसके प्रति जितनी एक चेतना होनी चाहिए वो लोगों में मुझे लगता है कि धीरे धीरे कम हो रही है तो टाइगर के बारे में बहुत सारी कॉन्फ्रेंसेज होंगी जहाँ टाइगर नहीं है वहाँ पर भी होंगी लेकिन जो लेसर नोन होना है और जो इक्वली इम्पॉर्टेंट है उनके बारे में मंथन कम होता है विचार कम होता है उसकी केयर कम होती है तो मैं आज ऑर्गेनाइजर्स को बहुत बहुत बधाई और साधुवाद देना चाहता हूँ आपके इस प्रयास के लिए इस कार्यक्रम के इस कॉन्फ्रेंस के आयोजकों को बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ कि उन्होंने आज के परिवेश में जो बहुत ही एक ज्वलंत मुद्दा है उसके ऊपर ये कॉन्फ्रेंस करने की पहल की है और मुझे लगता है कि भविष्य में इसकी एक सीरीज तैयार होगी हम बार बार आ, कुछ निश्चित अंतराल में मिलेंगे और अपने अनुभव को शेयर करके कंजर्वेशन एफर्ट में अपना योगदान भी देंगे और अधिक से अधिक लोगों को इस एफर्ट में जोड़ेंगे ये मौका है आज खास करके जो हमारे देश के विभिन्न संस्थानों में जो अच्छे जो रिसर्चर्स और साइंटिस्ट लोग काम कर रहे हैं वो लोग यहाँ उपस्थित हैं और पूरे दो दिन में यहाँ पे हमने चौदह सेशन रखे हैं टेक्निकल सेशन रखे हैं फॉनल स्पीशीज पर इनकी विशेषज्ञता है और क्या काम कर रहे हैं क्या इनके अचीवमेंट्स हैं और कॉन्फ्रेंस के जो परिणाम होंगे वो निश्चित रूप से जो हमें आगे वे फॉरवर्ड होंगे जो कि हम आगे क्या हमें और हमारी रणनीति होनी चाहिए उसमें सहायक होंगे In two days of the conference, 15 technical sessions were held in which speakers shared their rich experience and hard work in the field and threw light on different aspects of biology to ecology, from conservation challenges to conservation strategies. The first session was on lesser florican by Dr. Sujit Narwade from BNHS Mumbai in which he highlighted the major threat in conservation of lesser florican being declining grasslands, predation by free-ranging dogs, electric power lines and wind turbines and he recommended revision of conservation policy of grassland birds and more intensive studies and surveys to figure out threats and issues this is critically endangered uh, there is you know difference between male and female and this species uh, shows strong site fidelity uh, that means they these birds visit the same places there are you know they, there are changes on ground so that birds can visit other areas he also emphasized on florican friendly agriculture practices by involving communities the session was chaired by mr ajay gadikar known ornithologist from indore the second session was presented on indian skimmer by ms parveen shake from bnhs mumbai she took us on an amazing journey of life cycle of skimmers the major threats she highlighted were high predation from free ranging dogs nest damages due to livestock pressure and illegal sand mining She suggested a nest guardian program 
and community engagement to mitigate threats. Something very particular about this bird which is very iconic is the bill. If you see that the lower bill is quite longer than the upper bill and it's like a blade. Uh, so that's the reason that that particular thing gives the name to the species. It's called a skimmer because it uses its lower bill to skim on the surface of water and catch fishes. So they are purely piscivorous. Throughout their life cycle, only during the young age they uh, feed on some insects or anything or throughout their life they feed on fishes. The session was chaired by Dr. Rishikesh Sharma, former research range officer, Jambal Wildlife Sanctuary MP. The third session was presented by Dr. Shomita Mukherjee from Sakong Coimbatore on the status of small cats in Madhya Pradesh who are equally important in maintaining the healthy ecosystem. She recommended more intensive surveys in MP and suggested revival of wasteland policy for strengthening the conservation of small cats. Because we have the largest number of cats anywhere in the world, we are 15 of the 41 species. Another interesting thing about cats is if you look at their tail length, you can perhaps gauge where it is that they may be occurring, the kind of habitats that they occur in. The session was chaired by Dr. Suhas Kumar, retired IFS, former PCCF MP. The fourth session was presented by Mr. K. Narsimha Rajan, conservation biologist from Coimbatore on freshwater otters. He is doing research on two Indian otters, smooth-coated otter and Asian small clawed otter and has vast experience in studying aquatic ecosystem. He recommended surveys and research on otters in MP. Otter can speak a language. Natural uh, destructions as well as man-made destructions are making a huge impact on otter distributions. The session was chaired by Mr. Subranjan Sain, IFS, APCCF, Wildlife MP. The fifth session was on Indian Wolf, jointly presented by Mr. Sevaram Malik, SDO Forest and Mr. Praful Chaudhary from WWF India on status and work done by Forest Department for conservation of Indian wolves in Nora Dehi Wildlife Sanctuary. Primary recommendation was to build mosaic of habitats for their conservation. Finding a wolf in wild is how difficult and now here we have Noradehi where we have people who have very frequent sighting that itself shows how good population of uh, wolves we have in Noradehi and from the ground stuff what we figured out is we have around 15 to 18 packs of uh, wolf there. The session was chaired by Mr. R. Srinivas Murthy, retired IFS, ex-member secretary, MP State Biodiversity Board. The sixth session was on stories from the life of mysterious reptiles of MP by Mr. David Raju, senior naturalist from Kerala. He presented various reptiles including newly discovered species of geckos, endangered turtles and snakes from the land of central India. Red crowned roof turtle and uh, three striped roof turtle, these are again an uh, endangered species, very rare to see it, only found in uh, Chambal region. The session was chaired by Mr. Asim Srivastav, IFS, PCCF MP. The seventh and the final session of the day was a pictorial presentation on wildlife of Madhya Pradesh with stunning pictures and demonstrations of some rare moments captured by Dr. Nirmalya Chakraborty from Jungle Rhythms, Pune. Indian wild dog or thol is one of the key species that are found in Madhya Pradesh, slowly declining in their population due to various threats. The participants were mesmerized with such detailed information with amazing videos, demonstrations and presentations on some of the rare faunal species of MP. Second day of the conference started with an early morning field visit of one Vihar National Park which was guided by Mr. Mohammad Khalik, renowned birder and founder of Bhopal Birds Conservation Society. The visitors enjoyed bird watching and nature trail in the morning, the best way to start a day. The first session was on River Dolphin presented jointly by Mr. Sanjeev Yadav and Dr. Amit Dubey from WWF India. They explained the status and conservation challenges and highlighted the importance of seasonal monitoring and community mobilization like Dolphin Mitras to have better conservation awareness among people. We've got some sporadic population, around 85% of the total population we have globally is in India. And that is why, you know, the major responsibility of uh, conservation of this species lies with our country. The session was chaired by Professor R.J. Rao, former Vice-Chancellor, Barkatullah University, Bhopal. The second session was on raptor conservation 
with special mention on vultures by Mr. Sunny Joshi from WWF India. The major challenges highlighted in raptor conservation, mainly vultures, were the uses of NSAIDs in cattle, use of pesticides and collision with transmission lines. Long-billed vulture, uh, red-headed vulture and white-horned vulture are critically endangered according to the IUCN red list. And Madhya Pradesh actually holds, is, is among the last few fortresses that are, that are holding the vulture population. We have a very good uh, nesting colonies of white-horned vulture and Indian vulture in Madhya Pradesh. The session was chaired by Mr. Dilshed Khan, vulture conservationist. The third session was on diversity of scorpions in Madhya Pradesh by Mr. Sudhir Kumar Jaina, research fellow from Zoological Survey of India, who showed instances of life cycle and breeding behavior of scorpions from Madhya Pradesh. They are the fifth largest invertebrate group uh, in the world, yet uh, uh, like uh, there are being uh, more than 100 new scorpions being discovered every year. The session was chaired by Mr. David Raju, senior naturalist from Kerala. The fourth session was titled as Further Insight into the Ecology and Conservation of Endangered Forest Owlet in Madhya Pradesh by Mr. Dheeraj Das, research biologist from Wildlife Research and Conservation Society, Pune. He presented on forest outlets, a rediscovered species which was thought as extinct around 1884 and was found again around 1997. They uh, mostly feed on rodents and other species of uh, inver invertebrates such as grasshoppers and other insects. And these are mostly found as pests in our agricultural farms and uh, these cause a lot of harm to uh, in the agricultural field. So these uh, apex predators help in uh, controlling the uh, population of pests. The session was chaired by Dr. Sangeeta Rajgir from Bhopal Birds Conservation Society. The fifth session was on Caracal, our conference mascot, titled Some Aspect of Ecology of Caracal by Dr. Randeep Singh from Amity University, Delhi. He showed his long research data of 20 years in lands of Ranthambhor and its outskirts where he documented and has captured the photos of Caracal in camera traps and has given instances of possibility at many places including Kono and Chambal area of MP. I got the Caracal outside the Ranthambhor. The areas are the agricultural land, the riverine habitat, disturbed habitat. The session was chaired by Mr. R. Srinivas Murthy, retired IFS, ex-member secretary, MP State Biodiversity Board. The sixth session was titled The Amazing Insect World, The Joy at Fingertips, a photo and video presentation of the insect world by Professor Alok Shyote from Junior College, Vuldhana, Maharashtra. He showed various activities of insects. Common man ke liye romanticism sahi jab tak nahi karoge, jab tak koi dusri bhasha mein, unki bhasha mein, unke experience se jodke, jab tak nahi bataoge, wo interest nahi lenge. The session was chaired by Mr. Sudhir Kumar Jaina, research fellow from Zoological Survey of India. The seventh session was on wildlife crime and was presented by Mr. Kaushik Mandal from WCCB, Jabalpur. See those species basically been found in uh, MP, lesser known obviously and uh, in wildlife trade. Very rarely we used to catch those carriers, those middlemen, even very rare that we end buyer. So basically, for any department, we try to reach the end buyer because we end buyer to catch the hunter to catch the end buyer. He showed and explained the current trends of wildlife trade and how citizen science can be helpful in prevention of wildlife trade by capturing in suppliers rather than only the deployed hunters and poachers. The eighth and final session of the conference was on the status of small carnivore conservation in Madhya Pradesh, threats and survival strategies by Mr. Manpreet Singh research scholar from IIFM Bhopal. He highlighted the role of small carnivores in ecosystem, seed dispersal, etc. and the way forward for their conservation. Meeting the uh, this weight threshold of 16 kg, we have 229 species of small carnivores globally and in Madhya Pradesh we have 17 species which could be more because of uh, recent sighting of some small cat species like Asiatic wild cat and the fishing cat from Panna Tiger Reserve and then also a Eurasian otter in Kanha Panch Corridor. The session was chaired by Dr. Shomita Mukherjee from Sakon Coimbatore. 
with the discussions and presentations in two consecutive days. First National Conference on Lesser Known Species of Madhya Pradesh concluded, where all major stakeholders were sensitized and many researchers and NGOs, along with Forest Department, agreed to do research projects and work on conservation measures for these species. Jab tak public se nature ki support pe log nahi aayenge aage. तो इसको कोई इसके नाम से कोई आपको वोट नहीं देने वाला कार्यक्रम से मेरे को इतना अच्छा लगता है कि यहाँ पे सर्विंग गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर की ऑफिसर्स हैं मैनेजर्स हैं एंड देन स्टूडेंट्स हैं एकेडमिक्स हैं एकेडमिक से संबंधित लोग हैं नेचुरलिस्ट हैं रिसर्चर्स हैं इंस्टीट्यूशंस हैं रिटायर्ड लोग हम लोग हैं सब एक रूफ के नीचे बैठ के दो तीन दो दिन लगातार एक पर्टिकुलर इश्यू के बारे में मंथन करना और देर वॉज नॉट ए सिंगल मूवमेंट जहाँ पे लोगों को बोलना पड़ा कि भाई मतलब सोना नहीं अभी तो आई विश दिस सच सच कॉन्फ्रेंस शुड हैपन ऑन एनुअल बेसिस आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक मिस्टर विकास बिकॉज जब वो मेरे पास आए फर्स्ट टाइम कि हम उसमें कुछ कॉन्फ्रेंस करना चाहते हैं एंड देट टू ऑन लेसन नोन स्पीशीज सो आई रियली गेट दिस थिंग ओ दैट्स रियली नाइस थिंग हमने सुनी भी नहीं थी कि इस पर भी हो सकती है and believe me in last these two days i think each and every session was uh, very exciting mp state biodiversity board invited the projects to support financially in study and research of these species people active in field of nature conservation came together under one roof to plan and act for the way forward in conservation of these lesser known species of madhya pradesh इतने लेसर नॉन स्पीस के साथ में इतने ज़्यादा लोग जुड़े हुए हैं और इतने इंटरेस्टिंग विषय पर यहाँ चर्चा हुई है तो निश्चित रूप से मेरे ख्याल से सभी का ज्ञानवर्धन भी यहाँ हुआ है तो मैं धन्यवाद दूंगा विकास बघेल जी को कि जिन्होंने एक अच्छा एक प्रयास किया कि इस बोर्ड के सपोर्ट से बोर्ड के सहायता से उन्होंने एक नया प्रोग्राम लॉन्च किया है इन टू डेज ऑफ दॉन्फ्रेंस वी हैड फिफ्टीन इंटरेस्टिंग सेशन बैक टू बैक विद एक्सपर्ट्स शेयरिंग द रिच एक्सपीरियंस एंड हार्ड वर्क in the field there was not a single dull moment in the two days the energy level of the participants were always high and participatory snhc india has filled the conservation gap and strengthened the conservation community of central india by highlighting very important and much needed topic of lesser known species that are equally important as flagship species of madhya pradesh